What it do, man? Welcome to the Second Talk Podcast. Yes, indeed. We deal with real life situations, real life transformation. And I am your host with the most street near the representer. And you know, it's the big homie Struck Supreme. Hey, man. What it do, good people, man? Welcome to the Second Talk Podcast, man. Hey, what it do, where? What it do, Scrub? Hey, man. Everything good, man. How y'all feeling? Hey, bless, man. Good. Yeah, for Amen. Sure, for sure, man. Amen. Shout out to everybody that's been tuning in. Shout out to everybody that's been rocking with the movement. You know what I'm saying? Really appreciate that. Keep running the numbers up. Keep running the views up. And as always, subscribe to the vibe. You dig? Amen. Amen. Um, also, you know, we want to just appreciate everybody that's been rocking with us thus far. Um, might not mean a lot to y'all, but it mean a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? We are officially monetized. You Amen. know what I'm saying? So Amen. shout out to everybody. Amen. Like talk podcast, Hallelujah. Hey. Putting in that work. You know what I'm saying? The views been going up. You Amen. Know what I'm saying? Love has been uh, sent our way, and I just want to show that love back. So, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all for helping us get to that mark. With that being said, continue to help run them views up. You know what I'm saying? We need all the support to continue to provide a solid platform like the Soccer Talk Podcast. So, that salute way. to y'all. That you know way. Hey, man, we, hey, definitely appreciate that. Hey, monetize is a good thing. Of course. Hey, man. And like my man Scrooge say, man, you know, we're on one of the hottest podcasts on earth, and you know we bring the hottest artists, man. We got my man Elias in the building. What to do, Elias, man? Hey. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, hey, man. Hey, bro. Hey, I'm a little good. nervous, but it is what it is. It's all good, man. Feel feel comfortable, man. Kick off your shoe. Nah, I don't kick off your shoe, but feel comfortable, though, guys. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Hey, man, it's yeah. a bliss cool. to have you in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? Every I know everybody was on the tight flow. You were headed from work, got down. Lat was coming yeah. from work. It started raining at the last yeah. minute, got down. So, you know, we everybody's trying to get it together, man, but it's definitely a blessing to have you in the building, though. I appreciate yeah. you, man. I appreciate the hospitality. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Hey man, definitely. Um, I actually met um um Elias at the um exclusive Saturday this Saturday. Yep. He um last Saturday he came out there. He did this thing. Um, actually won. Yep. Um, he actually won this interview. You know what I'm saying? Went out there. It had a unique sound. It was different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and and you know, we I actually we gave everybody a slot. We did. We gave everybody a slot on the mixtape, but he got the got dog on. Um, he got the podcast. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. he said he was excited to come. You know what I'm saying? So hey man, we 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 glad to have you in the building, got dog. Yeah, I mean, that was a great show. Like I said before. Hey, Amen. Um, hey, Amen. It was a lot of talent in there. I felt like, honestly, I wasn't really sure if I was going to win. It was kind of like, you know, oh, damn, that dude did good. She did good. Da, da, da. But, like, I appreciate, the, you know, everybody coming together and doing our thing, networking and everything. It was a good vibe. Amen. 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 That's what it's about, though. Amen. You know of course. Amen. Networking, creating a vibe, and you know what I'm saying? Win, lose, or draw, you know what I'm saying? It's about reaching the people. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's it. You yeah. just said it. Yeah. Hey. hey, that's 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 really what it's about. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's good that you was able to reach, you know what I'm saying, at least nitty of the judges that was there at the event. Hey, you know Amen. Right. Now nah, shit, you on the podcast. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. I've been on a podcast before, but not like set up wise, nothing like this. So like I said, you know what I'm saying? It's good. Be the best. Hey, man. You know, we ain't we ain't, you know, no disrespect to the rest, but yeah, we ain't doing it quite like that, Jack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man. It's that real deal. You feel me? Hey, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man. It's, it's it's a reason why it's a cost on it. You know what I'm saying? It's a hey, reason man. why we, you know, we hey, built this thing up a certain way. We ain't you know, like you said, you ain't, we ain't doing this just sitting at the couch on the house. No, and again, no. I ain't knocking that because I, I know some podcasts with cats sitting on the couch and they're making some good dough. Hey Amen. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. For real. I ain't knocking that, but right, that's because they done put in the, the, the other intricate parts to making a podcast a success. Go. That's it. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's it. That's so how you came up with the name Alias? That's actually that's what I want to know. Cool, whatever, little story, whatever. Um, So I've been rapping since high school. And uh, one of my friends, shout out to Low Key, he used to go by Casey Semlo back then. His name is Isaac Holmes, so his uh, stage name was his name spelled backwards. Mm -hmm. And we was, um, I guess we had a home ec class or whatever, and I started uh, freestyling one day for whatever reason. He he had this notebook he used to write in, 
Um, he slid me a note, but like, yo, start writing in that, bring it back to me every day. And da-da-da. so we started rapping around the school or whatever. So niggas used to know him and not know who I was. He was mm. like, we need to get you a name. Da-da-da. So we're in the classroom, you know, politicking, trying to discuss names or whatever. And there was this dude on the other end of the classroom. He's like, you should go by alias. And we looked around like, you heard the whole thing? He's like, yeah, just go by alias. Fuck everything else. I'm like, you know, I'm going to rock with that. And then but, that's how I ended up rocking it. And, and how long you been running with it? Since like 2010. Okay. Honestly. Hey, honestly. Yeah, so yeah, that's, that's past the with the dude that, oh, yeah. that came up with the name Alias? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, talked yeah. to him a couple yeah, weeks ago, yeah. That's your boy right there, you know yeah. what I'm saying? When you get that that first big check, make sure you... Hey, that part. <laughs> Split it, you know yeah, what I mean? Take care of you know what I'm yeah. saying? Show him some love. He gave you that name, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So that that's dope, you know what I'm saying? So you've been, you been doing the music, what, since school? Yeah, it's been it's um been an on and off thing, though, because, uh you know, when you got to work on other people's time, uh and whatever stuff they got going on you kind of have to like wait and i kind of got fed up with that so yeah, years yeah. of on and off and i just ended up buying my own equipment Absolutely. um setting it up at the house and just doing it like that so hey. you record yourself and mm -hmm. you i recorded yourself. myself engineered myself okay hey. i'm i need to uh learn a little bit more obviously but if it's not broke don't fix it you feel mm. no, I, dig it. I dig it i dig it yeah it's not it's not wrong with mm -hmm. Um, being self-sufficient, right? You know what I'm saying. You have to be in this game. I mean, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. You can't do everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Can't, but no. uh, you know, it is good when you do. Um, you know, know different trades and different things within the business mm -hmm. to cut out that cost. Right. You know what I'm saying. Cut out, like you said, that back and forth of, hey, damn. Right. Yeah. I gotta right. wait for bro. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Fact. Yeah, I get that. It used to piss me off sure. too, cause <laughs> when you legit feel like oh, this got to be it, this this is it right here. Da -da -da. Oh, I gotta wait till next week because you got this. Oh, I gotta. And it's, you know, it's just a lot. Hey man, I hey been there, <laughs> seen it, wrote a book about it. You know what I'm saying? But stuff like that makes you elevate mm -hmm. it make you elevate you know i ain't no question about it you know uh but you know that, that those are our learning that's where we get our learning from you right. know what i'm saying I'm, I'm never um beat up or discouraged about something i've been i went through mm -hmm. to get me to another level you know what i'm saying that that made me better you know what i mean yeah hey for real for real hey so um who was some of the artists that inspired you you know what i'm saying growing up <clears throat> so as far as my own cadence, I definitely would have to say when I first started, sorry, when I first started, it was Wale. Okay. They used to say that I had a, if if Wale and Lupe Fiasco had a baby, it would be me. Okay, okay. And damn. That's, that's, that's something. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, that's, that's weird. <laughs> right. Out of everything they said, yeah. Wale, and, but I know what you, I know, I, I get the cuss up, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> as it progressed, um, I've obviously been, a, always been a big fan of Kendrick. Um, J. Cole is my biggest influence now. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to say that I'm 100% a, uh, what do they call it, uh, conscious rapper but i am i i'm on the lyrical side i, I definitely and yeah. definitely inspirational yeah. how definitely. do you feel about j cole playing ball oh, i like that oh he's it's, playing ball now yeah he went back to it he did it twice no mm -hmm. yeah he just left uh maybe about a week ago because he about to go back on tour mm -hmm. actually he's on tour right now he, he did it like his first show like two days ago wow last weekend who he with who he with who he playing with play out in toronto canada canada league you know okay. Saying? Yeah, he ain't playing like for no NBA. Right, but still, you know, hey. But yeah, no, nah, I mean, pursuing your dreams, your goals, you know what I'm saying? You put in the work, you know what I'm saying? A million people tell you no. You say, I say yes. Amen. You know Amen. I think it's cool. I like I like when people have passions outside of their original passion. Amen. It shows that you just crave more. Right. And I'm not going to lie, there was a time where music was probably the only thing that I felt I needed to be good at. You get what I'm saying? And I am actually very artsy. I'm good at a lot of artsy things. I like to draw, paint, stuff like that. So it's like to find passion within something else just means you're you're doing you're doing the right thing as a good person. You have the momentum. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not just a one. You're not a what do you call that? One stop. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. I, you know, you you have to be multifaceted. I, mm -hmm. I feel like God gives us yes. many gifts. You First know what I'm saying? Many. A lot of times in life, we tend to focus on just one thing mm. if it's kind of like doing for us. But, I mean, we have many talents. You just kind of got to tap in. Mm -hmm. um, 
and, and, and that's the hardest part, like tapping in. Right. You know what I'm saying? To self. Right. Mm. I I like what you said too with that scroll because it reminds me, you know, it's a um, it's a it's a little passage in the Bible. We talk about the talents. Mm-hmm. You know, he gave one one talent, he gave another two talent, mm-hmm. and he gave another third three. Right. The one with the one, he went and hid his talent. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. The the others, they went and multiplied it and they went and learned different stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Me, I'm a hustler. Mm-hmm. I hustle all the way around the borderline. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even know where it come from, be honest with you. Mm-hmm. But I know it's a skill and it's something that I have picked up over time. My main goal was music, just mm-hmm. like you just said. Yeah. But music ain't what's always taking me to the top. I have learned a lot, but I get paid from my hustle, guy, dog. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. You know, but music, you know, is definitely is where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel what you're saying. Why expanding? Because mm-hmm. you never know where out, what door you're gonna come through. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Amen. Hey, yeah, that's where the business is. And you say you originally from where? Connecticut. Okay, Connecticut. What the, what the vibe like up there in Connecticut? The music scene. Honestly. Now it's actually really, really popping. It was always, to be fair, it's always been popping, but it's been selective. Like, one of the things I love about Connecticut is that you'll find an area to do your thing. The bad side about it is people are very, unfortunately, very um, me, me, me. Like, in the sense of, like, how we sitting here right now, we doing whatever right now. Say if uh, Jay-Z called me tomorrow to do a podcast whatever they gonna not necessarily shit on y'all but they're gonna like oh if you call me back oh i'm too big for that now like you know what i'm saying it's a slight um i don't know arrogance to it i I know exactly what you're talking about outside of that though it's like really really it's a nice you know vibe out there you know even with the reggae you know what i'm saying you know i ain't gonna even flex though you know what i'm saying jay-z called me to do an interview (laughs) and i was supposed to be at the soccer talk podcast yeah I might have to reschedule the interview. I mean, you know? I mean, yeah. I mean, that's, I'm just being straight up. I, mean, I got, I, I get, but I get what he's saying though. Yeah. No, I get what he's saying. Yeah, too. I get what he's saying. I'm, 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 I'm talking shit. <laughs> oh, okay, like, right. For real though, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, right. You know, it, you know, some opportunities. One thing about life, man, is that um, even even when even when you talk about people that have that, like, I guess you you say that like arrogance, like, oh, well, I'm a little bit bigger mm-hmm. than that, you know. I, sometimes I look at it and I say, we all are born like that mm-hmm. in a way like, uh, you know, shit. Yeah, you, you, it is about self. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 never forget self. If it's an opportunity where you can elevate, move forward, not saying you step on people mm-hmm. or disrespect people, mm-hmm. but shit, you, you can't be everywhere all the time, bro. That's so, true. You know what I'm saying? That's sometimes true. it come like that. It might not even be a situation where... Bro, sis is on some arrogant shit. They just like, well, damn, I can only be at one place at one time. That is- I might not get this opportunity with either or again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you got to look at it sometimes like, okay, well, I, you know, if I got to choose, what am I going to do? That's true. You know what I'm saying? So You know what? Being that you just said that, you, you, are, right about, you are right about that. One thing I will say is... A lot of times the arrogant whatever that I just said comes from wanting to be in that same position. So yeah. that's actually how I figured out the difference between jealousy and envy. Cause like mm-hmm. envy is just more of like, I want what you have just because you have it. Right. And jealousy yeah. is like, I could fuck with you, but I just like, bro, that should be me. But it's like I fuck with you, but that should that be should me. be me. You get what I'm saying? So and, that's that's like, and that's a perfect example of it too. Mm-hmm. Envy though, envy will kill you. Jealousy oh, yeah. will kill you. Envy though, person might like you. I mean, dislike you for no, no. reason, period at all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm Most saying? Yeah. Hey, I'm talking about that envy. Yeah. Envy, envy yeah. is a more. Most so. people that don't like you, if you, if you, if you really just sit down, you know, and ask a person like, why you don't like them for real. They won't like, even tell you, not, man. It's just something about them, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just something about them. Like, you know, come right? On. Now, like, the thing is, though, when you even when you feel within yourself, a lot of people are not honest about that. Cause like when you feel like you could be uh, washing your car and then a Ferrari pull by, and it's like, damn, I'm washing this and I don't want that. It's like you don't necessarily have to know the person or whatever. Sometimes you could just feel like. I just want it. I just want like you're greedy about it. But it's like 
the work ethic that you put behind what you want is kind of where the I guess the aesthetic of how hard you are as well. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you got music out on platforms right now? Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I steal all my beats, so I pretty much have to do. At least he added. Yeah. Say, oh, what, 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 what you said now? He said, nah. He he steal all his steal beats. All my beats. Yeah. Oh. Man. <laughs> and the, I so I have to put everything on SoundCloud. Oh. So not to say. Sound because I love SoundCloud. Like I, I still listen to it. <laughs> well, you plugged in with the socket today, yeah, so yeah. we can point you out the right direction, got that. Right, 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 right. And get, you, you I mean, plug I, all I can say is at least bro was honest. And about that's this what thing. I said. That's what I said. <laughs> Man, to you know, this this is a this is a I'm an artist advocate. Uh-huh. I you know I talk to the artists. I, I tell them you know the do's and the don'ts. Mm-hmm. Artists out there, don't be like this guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, and, and for you too, brother. Stop it, bro. Stop hey, man. it. Stop hey. it. You, you know, like, how long you been doing this? Uh, about a decade, decade plus. Stop <laughs> it. Hey, man. Really? I mean, I mean, that's the thing. That's why I'm doing it uh, more, trying to be more official now. Like, I'm trying to... Uh, network more and meet producers and stuff like that. So bro, I'm really, you, you can, you can, you can buy beats for cheap. I, bro, listen, I, I'm not even an artist anymore. I haven't did a song since. 13 probably. I need to link to uh, yeah, and I get I get I listen, mm-hmm. that's what I'm trying to tell them. Like, I haven't dropped the song since 2013, and I have produced two today. Yeah, I got I got a bunch of them. Where they're willing to yeah. say, here you go for one set price, take all these damn beats and do what the fuck you want to do with them. Hey man, Shit, man, I need a plug. Well, we got you. Definitely you, got you, got, definitely you plugged in with the stack. Yeah, okay, man. We, no, dog. You got your own studio, right? Mm-hmm. Go on Looper Man, make your own beats. They be having loops, Looper. and you just loop the shit out your own beats, and they get away with loops for free. You said Looper Man? Yeah. Got socket you talk. Get, you get a dang old horns, you get some drums. Some socket talk. Make your own shit. Uh, yeah. It's funny. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got food loops. No, I don't. Well, you need to steal that. That's what you need. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that hey. what you start. <laughs> that's what you I mean, I used to make beats before I started rapping, so I mean. So that shit, it shouldn't be too hard yeah, for you then. You know you, you know, yeah. Like I tell you, man, you got to tap into all the talents that you are given with mm-hmm. the time that you are given to display them talents. Very, Amen. You know what I'm saying? Very true. Everybody yeah. got an expiration date, as we know. Amen. And, uh, you know, the last thing you want to do is to go out and be like, well, damn, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Right. Uh, right. If you had an um, opportunity um, to open up for an artist right now, who would you open up for? Like, who would you want to Who would you want to open up for? Right now? Yeah, right now, in their time of day. Um, my go-to answer would be Drake. Okay. But I don't want to say that because that's probably like the general answer. I would probably say um give or take Cole or any one of Dreamville. Because when I think of all the major labels, Dreamville is the most that like I would fit like I feel I would fit. That's what you comfort- fit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'd be I, I fuck with them Earth Gang boys. Yeah, right. Earth, exactly. Earth Gang. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Straight out of the A for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh. They like the new good them all. That was them. Nah, I think I actually nah, think. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Uh, I think they knew. Okay. Well, to, but to me, not even that to me. Like, but uh, and a lot of people. Uh, oh, Nappy Roots. Nappy Roots. Nappy Roots. Roots. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Right there. They get. But I'm gonna be honest with you. They kind of embody a little bit of it all. And you know what I'm saying? Like, cause them boys are very diverse. Right. You mm-hmm. know That's what I'm true. Saying? Very true. So I, I guess with you, like you said, you know what I'm saying, you would want to, you know, perform with a diverse crowd yourself. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. Or with diverse right. sound. Yeah. yeah. I feel I feel like um because when I cause I used to think TDE, like if you used to ask me this five years ago, I would say TDE. But TDE is kind of outside of Kendrick, even though he just left the label, they kind of have the same not sound, but same style. It's, yeah, kinda. like Gucci and OJ used to be. Yeah, like, yeah. like Gucci sounded different, but you know you can tell they kind of hung the same around world. each other. Right, you right, know right. what I'm saying? I know exactly where you're coming from. 
Amen. Amen. So we know we that the people can look forward to you mm-hmm. getting some more. Get, we're we going to plug you in where you can get some um, some original beats. Exclusive beats. beats. Yeah. Exclusive beats yeah. You know, and and some exclusive beats. Gotta what, what you, what, what we, where can we look and expect for the future of uh, Ellie's? You know what I'm so, saying? So I'm definitely trying to do more shows now. Um, I had to get over that, you know, fear. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to be able to network more, even if it's not on no per, uh, performance. I just want to be able to be, you know, just present and just have network game. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Networking, yeah. Yeah, bro. Um, you got to do that. You know what I'm saying? You got to get out here. Um, I read a post yesterday that said um, something to the equivalent of uh, you think making $20,000 a month is hard until you've been around someone that made $20,000 a day. Right, Damn. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And in order for you to get to them places, it comes from networking. Amen. It comes from, you know what I'm saying? You you can't be the... The last thing you want to do on your way up is to be the, the richest person in the in the crew or the smartest person in the crew. I mean, you done already reached your ceiling. Right. You know what I'm saying? At that point, now you got to get around... If you a millionaire, you got to be be around the billionaire. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Very true. Very you feel very me? True. So it's like that. That's that's how that go, man. You know, just just keep doing your thing, but mm-hmm. move like a boss with this shit, man. Don't be afraid. Of course, of course. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying. Big fat, big fat. Be afraid. Move like a king, bro. Hey. And like I said, we look forward, you know what I'm saying, when you're bringing you back, dropping your new single. Of course. You know, hey, put you some promo tours and all that stuff. My man do the promo tours. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So definitely tap in, you know. Like I said, we appreciate you coming out to the Psycho Talk Podcast. No Tell the people where they can find you. You can find me um, on IG, Project Ghost underscore. Uh, Twitter, Alias Music, two underscores. Um, if you want Snapchat, Vance underscore Armstrong. Um, I'm trying to make more, you know, pages, trying to get on Facebook and, you know, get out there. I'm dropping, hopefully within the next month or two, a new EP called uh, Protein Pack. I'm going to do volume one and two back to back, eight tracks a piece. Mm-hmm. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to work, you know what I mean? I'm trying to just get busy. Feel Amen. Me? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, well, much success to you, brother. Thank you for no coming problem, right man. with us on the Soccer Talk Podcast. Well, it was cool. Amen. Cool experience. Big facts, like this. Big facts man. Yes, yes. And stay tuned in, man, y'all. Stay tuned in to the Soccer Talk Podcast. That way. Oh yeah, man, we back at it again, Socket Talk Podcast, you already know the vibes, we always, you know, bringing the hottest, current, up-to-date artists in the building, so of course, you know what I'm saying, we gonna bless y'all presence today with uh, one of the affiliates of, of, of We Made Us Entertainment, Contra if you're not familiar Ego. with the movement, you better get used to it. I got my nephew, Hancho. Hancho. Gang, building. gang, gang. What's good with you? What's good, man. You already know this is my guy, Street Nitty, hey, over man, here. Yes, sir. Okay, you know, I met the king before. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, man. We up in here, man. How you? I'm all right. I'm feeling lovely on this day. It started raining, but, you know. Yeah. And that's Atlanta for you. It was it's like still a, hot as hell. I was just about to say, like, it was like 104 yeah. earlier. 105 yeah. yeah. out this bitch. Straight AC action. You know what I mean? And then it wanted to start raining towards the end of the night. Like, Lightning and all types. <laughs> yeah, that's what it got. Earlier, got that. Where you were earlier. <laughs> what? What's going on? You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, nah, but it's straight, though. That's Atlanta weather for your ass, nah, dog. Nice. For real, for real. How you enjoying it out here? Nah, I'm enjoying it. It's a good little, a good little vibe. You feel me? We've been turning up all week. And you feel me? Been Ready back, for tonight. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We're going tonight. Tonight, going to go crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man, you know, my, my guy, man, he actually on tour right now, running through Atlanta, going crazy on the We Made Us tour. Yes, sir. Um, you know, been putting in that work, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know, I had to have him come by the podcast and bless us, talk about, you know, the movement, where he started, where he been and where he going, you know what I'm saying? So let's start with where we start at. Where you from originally? I'm from Jersey, Plainfield type shit, you feel yeah. me? Moved to North Carolina in like 2009. Henderson type shit by Riley and shit. Yeah. Linked with Cousin like 2018. Started going crazy with the music. Been working ever since. Hell yeah. Been locked in. I dig that. I dig that. 
So uh, coming up in Jersey, you know what I'm saying? How was that? Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's start there. Like I said, you know, coming to Jersey. Were you doing music back in Jersey? You know what I'm saying? I wasn't doing music in Jersey for real, for real. I probably made a little little poem or some shit, like for school type shit. That's about it type shit. But I ain't really start fucking with the music till I turned like 14, 15 type shit. Mm, mm. And what got you like going with the music? Like like what, what turned the switch on? Uh, I'm gonna say Meek Mill really turned the switch on for mm. real, for real. Cause it's Not like, Meek. Yeah, cause it was like that's what I really was looking up to back then on some nappy nappy braid shit in the in the street type shit. Like, nah, bro, got it out the mud. For real. So it was nah, like for real. Yeah, he he put that in that battery in my back type shit. Yeah, that's what Meek Mills, yeah. man. That's what's up. Dream chasing. Dream chasers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and nah, for real, you better chase your dreams. That's the only way they exactly. come true. <laughs> man, you know big facts. But then you got out of Charlotte, you know what I'm saying? Start doing your thing out there in Charlotte. Were you, you know, when you when you moved out to Charlotte, was it just like, you know, on the on the transition thing, like, look, you know, we just up moving to Jersey, or was it because of the music that you moved to Charlotte? Um Shit, really? I had moved when I had left from Jersey. I moved to Henderson type shit first. Okay. So I was in Henderson for a little little bit. I got tired of Henderson because it was on some country tight little little Man, town. Small as hell. You feel me? Charlotte was the closest to the city type shit. Mm -hmm. Then I found out that Mouth stayed out here, so then I linked up with Mouth type shit, mm -hmm. and we got it cracking. Got it cracking. Yeah, we but made us. We, we made, made us. us. That's exactly. Um. I know, you know, I I know I know your pops, you know what I'm saying? Real cool dude. Shout out to Sean. Um I know he used to do music back in the day too. You know <laughs> yeah. <what I'm> <laughs> um, and I I just wanted to touch on how cause I, I love and I think that it's real dope how, you know what I'm saying, you and mouth, even both of y'all, like y'all pops, you know what I'm saying, is around to help in y'all dreams. And y'all yeah. goals and them niggas stand behind y'all and they push y'all and yeah, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, the it's crazy because me being a father, I know how it is. Like in life, you get to a certain point and you don't fulfill your dream. So it's like if I can give everything within myself to help Adam my, live through live my dream. Live my dream play. through them. Yeah, yeah, fine. That's that's <laughs> double the reward. Like for real. Like, cause I succeed as a father. They succeed as my boys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we all win. The whole family wins. And I just think that's really a dope dynamic because we don't see that, you know, in our community. Like, you don't never hear about, you know what I'm saying, black men standing behind their kids, raising their kids, sure. you know what I'm saying, showing boys how to become men and kings and all that type of shit. So, you know what I'm saying, I definitely have to salute, you know what I'm saying, y'all pops and the whole We Made Us team yeah, or how they... Them, though. You know what I'm saying? Put shout that out, shit shout together. Shout out Big CEO. Shout out CFO. Yeah, for them, me. They, 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 and, and y'all got some dope ass music. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I know their prayers are definitely coming through y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, um, let's talk about some of the music. Um, I know we got several joints out here. We got the. The Ops got, joint. Yeah, I was about to say, we Ops got Ops, Ops Future and Mouth type shit that's going crazy. Body Bag. Body I mean, Bag, that's going crazy. You know Ghost saying? Town, Closure, we out now, you feel me? Those four, we run that shit up. Closure on, on our platforms. Body Bag, what else you say? Ops yeah. and Ghost Town yeah. on platforms. Yeah. Run that shit up. Yeah, yeah man, got a, got a lot of work building the Hella catalog. Hella shit in the cut, like... I'm about to go crazy in the summertime for real, for real. It's hella shit in the cut. Like we yeah. ready, we ready. You know how how do you feel that the um the internet has impacted the music since you started? You know the inter You know how you feel the internet has made an impact. Um, uh, I started when the internet was already made its impact, so it's like I didn't see that. Like I didn't have to like go through that like the old. Shit. The before that, shit. Yeah, right. like, yeah, I came up off of the internet. Okay, okay, you know okay. So okay. boy had that like, done. Right, that mug. Yeah, right. like so, so you like, came in on the wave. Yeah, hey man, I got you. I ain't had to. I ain't. I ain't know nothing about no line wire and all that. I, was, I did. I was. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Right. I wasn't in tune back then. Like. Right, right, right. Yeah, Soldier Boy, he was talking about. It. I seen him on the post talking about how 
You know, a lot of people told him he wasn't going to make it. Exactly. I why just are seen you, that shit why are you doing this and all that? And then, if you he would have stopped, he would have yeah. been sick as hell. He would have been nowhere. You got to, sometimes you got to tune all that out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? <laughs> and then you got to know what's for you is for you. And you got to have faith in yourself too. That, like, it, man, you got to have faith. Without ain't faith, no faith it ain't no possible. way. <laughs> Hey man, that's where the business yeah. is. So how you been liking it since you been down here uh, on the tour doing the promo run? Uh, I've been liking it. I've been liking it. It's been nice, like like the crowd. It's been nice crowds. You feel me? Nice little vibes. Like it was a little bit of shorty. There were no shorties out there last night. Though. <laughs> there were no shorties. Last night. See them. I don't see oh, that boy Mouth almost pulled one last nah, night. Nah, I, I seen him. I seen him. He was hunting some shit at the end of the night. I ain't gonna lie. We ain't gonna talk about that though. That's federal though. We ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> we keep that on the hush though. <laughs> nah, but relax though. But yeah, bro. Nah, yeah, it been, it been fun. I'm glad y'all out here though. You know what I'm saying? Really, you know, just getting because this is one of the markets, bro. Where you, you know, if you want to make it in the music, you gotta touch it. You know what I'm saying? You got to put exactly, your 10 man. toes down to Amen. the city of Atlanta. Amen. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And that's not to say don't go to other places, but... It's the black, it's the Mecca. It's the Mecca. Hey. It's, it's the Mecca. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta, black Hollywood. Yeah, really? York, Hollywood, yeah, five. You know what I'm saying? So, like, why y'all out here? Um, have y'all been out, ate at any places? You know what I'm saying? Just the, you know, the vibe of the city. Have y'all done anything like that yet? I mean, it's like... We've been out here a few times, so it's like we kind of low key running out of places to go to. So, what's your favorite spot in the A when y'all when y'all pull up to this? Usually, where you be like to the go? milk and honeys for real. That's yeah, what yeah. really. Shout out to the milk and honey. We got them biscuits. Mm. Dog. I, I got. I, I'm coming <laughs> now. I, hey, I gotta go. Hey. Bro, I want to go to bro. the. Uh, I think it was some shit called like the bando or the traps. Oh yeah, the like bando that. with the wings. I mean, where that's that? Where's that? Yeah. Where's that? Let me know. Where's that? wings, bro. This the thing about the bando, bro. Um, like you got to get that when they open up, like first open, like bro. They run out all the time, bro, because mm. the shit lit like that. Like wait, they don't wait. never have enough. I heard about it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I okay. heard they about never, it. That, you know what I'm saying? He said they ain't got it's enough wings. So it's like a band, though. It's like a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like they be playing music. Shout out to you TikTok. Know? You'll be having the old heads in there, you know what I'm okay, saying? Man. You know, doing hey. that shit. Like, bro, like it really be a. It's a vibe, nigga. Right. You got the crack wings yeah. in the joint. I gotta go there. I gotta go there before yeah. we leave, though. Yeah, uh, another another breakfast spot though, a brunch spot. If you like milk and honey, y'all need to go to breakfast at Barney's. Breakfast at Barney's. Yeah, I heard yeah. It. I heard Downtown, it. they 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 got nice selection of hmm. food, and it's a good vibe too. Like you know what I'm saying? Good yeah. vibes. Good good vibes. Hey, Amen. But yeah, milk and honey do go. I need the I need the uh, address for. Uh, the band of I just the name itself. Have y'all have y'all been to the trap museum? Mm, nah, no. I tried to, but it was closed when nah, I. Nah, dog. Yeah, when you I gotta. Yeah, get get that thing early. You know what I'm saying? That when should it come be to the trap too. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, man, but it's a, it, I, I do encourage like all artists. You know what I'm saying? When they come in to Atlanta, yeah, go check the trap museum. Yeah. That shit. It. I don't know. It just do some, when you walk through and you just see the the culture, the essence of this music. Do they like shit. update that shit? Like, all the time. They be updating shit. All just, like, just be adding time. extra shit. Uh, yeah, I need to go down. And I just heard they was about to um if I'm not mistaken, they about to do a trap museum in the D in Detroit. Okay then. Yeah. Hey, T I got dog. Yeah, hey. yeah you know. <laughs> hey man. Hustle got that's big ball uh, shit. Yeah. Hey man. Yeah, for uh, sure. Hancho, if it if it wasn't for music, what what else would you see yourself doing if it weren't for music? Oh my God. Mm. I don't know, honestly, because back then really what made me do music was so I would like stay out of trouble type shit. So it's like music really what was saving me from like getting locked up and doing dumb shit. Like, hey man, like it got a purpose. Really save my life for real. It got a purpose. Hey man, that's, yeah. that's what the business is. So yeah, for that answer, I don't know what the fuck I'd be doing. <laughs> that's <laughs> real though. Hey man, that's real. You hey know man. what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, like you said though, it's good that you can acknowledge that. Like, this shit saved me. Right, be, and they, it's, you know, it had this purpose. Other shit. It had this purpose. Got down. Hey. But that, you know, the music has saved many of brothers, you know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, even like uh, with Gunna and the whole YSL situation like that, you know, it's messed up that they going through that because 
the music it saved them yeah. but right. you see how they trying to use the music right against them like, against yeah that's them. why new york i fuck with new york because they just they just filed that law but you can't even you can't use like the music yeah yeah you can't oh, you yeah oh, yeah yeah, can't, yeah, can't yeah. Jiggle standing music behind that, that shit and everything right. it's like hell no nah, we is not about to let that right no right and it shouldn't be that way because if that's the case then it's like actors, like they when they all act in the, you the, feel all me. All the Schwarzeneggers, the the Sylvester Stallones, the Clint Eastwoods, all these shit. You ain't gonna say like you ain't gonna say they done knocked off for the movies. <laughs> but but you know, like like when Rambo. It to, <laughs> when it comes to hip hop and the culture, nah. it's like that because you got rock. You know you got rock bands that do a lot of different stuff. You know, but when it comes to the culture, it's always it's always issue. different. You know what I'm saying? Nah, fast, because it's us. It's, it's us. Everybody ain't been around. We, play, we say, oh, our lyrics are real. Right. Nah, facts, though. We right. do be trying to stamp on it. Like, yeah. Right. You know what I mean? You, you stab me on something in the back. Right. And you get shit for real. Instead, it's just entertainment. It's entertainment. <laughs> right. No, shut up, dude. Right. Let, let it be entertainment. You know what facts I'm saying? Though, yeah, this is all props, what I'm speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, believe me, you heard. I, 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 I can dig that because, like, even with NWA back in the days, the only one out the crew that was in the streets really was Easy. Eazy-E. Yeah, that's my guy. But they was running around screaming for the police and all that different stuff because they were making a statement. You see what I'm saying? But it was entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Nowadays, yeah. you make a song where you. I, I, I ain't even gonna say it. Right? <laughs> I ain't even gonna say it, but you make stuff. Don't snitch on yourself. I'm gonna say that much. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm careful what I say. You exactly. see what I'm saying? Well, you should, yeah. especially yeah. in this day and time, the way they're trying to play. It. Yeah, you, you know, got they to be, be on smart. everything. I'm telling you, they I'm telling you, man. Listen, they got a whole department that shit computers up. Watch us all day, straight Man. up and down. <laughs> and, and they getting red flags every time some shit happen. They see a gun, whoop, whoop, red flag. Hey. Mm. A whole bunch of us all together clicked up at one time. Red flag. Hey, man. Like, bro, like real deal shit. Man, hey. hey. They, it, what they say big brother watching. Right. But now big you, it, it's crazy. Bleeds. It's crazy because a lot of people would talk about it, but I got to share it. Good. And I was getting food stamps one time. I, got, nah, <laughs> I think I t- I was getting food stamps, you know. Ain't around no the, with that. Around I the, the, hey, if you got right, some food stamps, I need around some food stamps the, right uh, now. Hit me in the DM. Around the Corona time and all that different stuff are going on. So... I'm really using my my food stamps, got dog. I got you. man. Do you know them folks hit me back a year later? Time by so I went to work for a month. I went to work for uh, four days. It was four days, got dog. But but the, bro, <laughs> do you know them folk put me on the investigation? Was watching me on Facebook. Knew what? I was married. Knew I was a promoter, and then told me oh, she said she said she looked she said she said. Oh, yeah, and if you ever think about getting some food stamps again, just remember that you are promoting a rapper, so you probably got more money than you say you got. Mm. I was like, y'all keep them damn food stamps. You <laughs> don't even want them no more. That's right. That's but but uh, it, it just shows you that they uh, will take it to another level. Because, I, you know, I was like, I was pissed off, but somebody was like, she's just doing her job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, that shit nice. crazy, bro. No, that's crazy. Yeah, that, that I mean, that's, again, with the internet right. and all that, you hey, know man. what I'm saying? That's how this shit is now. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. Watching me, listening to your calls, everything. You're right. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Never so, be too careful. What can we expect from Honcho? Uh, I know you said we dropping some music in the summer. Um... But yeah, what you know, what, what what you got up your sleeve, you know? I got I got uh I got this song for the bitches called Bust It Open. It's a twerking song. That's going in the club. That's gonna be I'm trying to push that for the strippers, I ain't gonna lie. Hey. That's gonna be for the strip shit. And then I'm gonna drop my uh seven oh four degrees with mouth type shit just to even it out. That's for the trenches. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's on straight drill time, Jersey shit, New Jersey, New York type drill music. Uh I got Demon Time on the way. That's an album I'm working on. It's in the mix. That's in the cut. And then me and Cuz hit niggas with a special, uh, some special shit. I ain't gonna speak on that. <laughs> but, uh, me and Cuz definitely be working. Nah, that's if y'all ain't doing nothing else, y'all definitely working. Hey. You know what I'm saying for real. So continue to keep that type of momentum. Stay driven. Stay working. Success is definitely around the corner. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? What you see, what you envision, what y'all discuss and talk about, 
will come to life. Yeah, it just gotta manifest. It's gonna come to life. Yeah, yeah. But that that's that's why you in the trenches. You going like you understand, you gotta bend a little bit. You're gonna have to do a little bit of this, a little bit of, little bit yeah. of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, it's it's a second home, you know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, when you, you can go home in Jersey and and be straight, be out in, in Charlotte and be straight. Nigga, you know when you come out here to the city in Atlanta, you straight. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So much salute to you. Uh, we made us the whole gang. You know what I'm saying? Charito. Yeah. Macho. Gang, gang, gang. We made us in the building. You feel me? So shout out did. people you want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, holla at and, and let them know how to rock with you, follow you, and all that good you shit. Follow me on Instagram at honcho.god, H O N C H O dot G O D. That's on all platforms too, Honcho God. You feel me? Shout out to We Made Us. That's the gang. That's the label right there. Shout out Mouth. You feel me? Shout out Finesse. Shout out Big CEO. Shout out CFO. You feel me? Shout out the family. Shout out to all the fans. Shout out everybody. Shout out to Atlanta for fucking with us all week. Yeah, and shout out Strup. Shout out to Orger. Shout out Sony. Man, let's go on and on. And on. <laughs> I can keep going, but I'm a, I ain't going. I ain't going. Right. I ain't going to push my limit. Big shit popping so you around. Me? Here, shout bro. out everybody who I ain't shout out. You feel me? <laughs> Straight up. And shout out God. Hey, hey number one. The man above. Hey, stay like boy. that. Shout man. out all my my homies. Yeah. Hey, man, y'all stay tapped in, man. We appreciate yeah. you coming to rock with us, King. You know what sure. I'm saying? Bless sure. up. Keep going up on them. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Amen. From New Jersey to ATL, it's your boy, Hancho God. Hancho! Rock with the movement. Soccer Talk Podcast. We out. Gang. Yeah, man. Soccer Talk Podcast. You already know the vibes. Hey, man. We going up all the way, like I told you, you know what I'm saying? In this game, you better make you. So with that being said, we got We Made Us in the motherfucking building. Hey. This is the second portion of it. I got my homie Mouth in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know How you doing, messenger? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Hey, you man. feel me? I'm, yeah. It's a light day. It's a slight day. It's a busy day. We working. You know what I'm saying? Listen, that's that's what you do, man. You know what I'm saying? You stay putting in work. Yes, sir. Um, I was just talking to you a little bit early, and you was like, shit, man. I, you know, I came down here, man. I brought the whole studio. I got my interface. I got everything. Matter of fact, bro, it's crazy because the last guy that was in here, before he walked out, I should have linked his ass up with you. Shit, bro. Studio time? Man, he needs beat. You still can't. You still can't. I need all Yeah, I got him on all that. Bro, I need all money while I'm out here. Sweat. Hey, That's why I said I just, when, when I was yeah. just mentioning it, it just ran through my head like, damn, I should have just. You can tap in with him. Well, I got his information. Hey, so I'll make sure, you know, because he need help, bro. I ain't going to cap you down. Hey, you know, man. Right um, and, and, you know, shit, I know you be recording all your shit, mixing your shit, editing yep, it, yep. putting in that work to get it that quality sound. So I'm sure you yes, can sir. Yes, help, sir. bro. I, Hey, sure. man, big fat. Sure. Hey, and I want to give a um, shout out to my sponsor, one of my sponsors, Got Ties in Fayetteville. Y'all make sure y'all go on my page. We got the um, Worldwide Box Chevy Raffle going on. I'll make sure to say it one more time before we go off. Y'all click that link, man. Going to get you some tickets, man. We got the Early Bird Special going on right now. Hey, man. Yeah. To yeah. the with them boys. You know what I'm saying? Um. Mouth. How you came up with the name Mouth? Uh, that's my dad retired name, so I just stole. Shout it. out to Big Mouth. You know what I'm saying? I we got Big Mouth and then Little Mouth. But but he mouth like uh, he mouth like like, just mouth on some red eye shit like mouth with a big lip type shit. Mm -hmm. I mouth messenger of unspoken feelings. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So I got the meaning behind my shit. Hey, or so his just like a street name they gave him. You asked you 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 actually answered my next question because I was gonna be like, so what does mouth mean? Like, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mouth and mean, say that one more time now. Mouth mean the messenger of unspoken feelings. You know mm. what I'm saying? The more people get to know me, they'll understand how that name fits perfectly with me. Like I always say everything that need to be said. Like I always say what people around me need to hear. Like I'm just I'm the messenger, you know what I'm saying? That's I always dope. come with a message. I like That's dope. That. I like that. You got to you so it got to be somebody like that in the gang. It got to yeah. be somebody like that in the crew because see, if you're in a crew full of niggas and ain't nobody speaking up <laughs> right. or, or, or letting people Amen. know like, look, bro, like, no, nah, we got to do it like this. You can't be doing it like that. For real. You Definitely gotta out. take lead. Yeah. I got I got the lead from my dad too. Like yeah. everything, 
most of the things about me I get from my father. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If he was a bum, I'd probably be a bum. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not, I ain't gonna hold you. So yeah, for real. Yeah. Now you and pops, y'all way too too far, far fucking removed. Yeah. It's a bum shit. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I get what you saying. Yeah. Like you know, it, it the apple don't from, fall right from the tree. From the tree. From the tree. Amen. 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 You know I, I, I was finna say that. What what drew you to the music industry? Um. Music has always been in my body. Like, my family do music. So my grandfather did music with big artists like Raven Simone, uh, Regina Bell. Okay. Like, um, Mary and shit like that. And then my grandma be singing all crazy. But music, I really think, was something that, like, God gave me. Mm. My family good at it, but, like, I'm something different. Okay, with, then. You know okay, then. So, like, <laughs> what, they got. what, they what got. drew me to it was you. I tried it. I found out I was great at it. My mom told me I was great at it too. Like, and my mom usually the type to tell me the the whole truth every time. If if mm. that ain't it, that ain't it. You know what I'm saying? But she told me like, nah, you're good at this. So I mean, I just ran with that shit for real. Right, hey, amen. That's what the business is, though. Yeah. I like how you gave the glory to God, though. No, you know what I'm sure. saying? It is. It is a gift. Amen. You know what I'm saying? That's and, right. And you 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 know when you explain what mouth stands for, and then just that whole thing of a messenger. Yeah, that that right there lets you know that it it does come from some higher power yeah. that, like you said, was literally placed in you. Like, here, bro, this is what you about to do. You about to give a message. Yeah, like late nights, like I don't know. I guess like you know, everybody goes through their personal journeys in life. Like, Absolutely. and late night, like I just be like trying to figure out how my life goes, how it goes, because. It's like I beg for little things, and he don't give them to me right when I ask for them, but he always gives them to me. Amen. You, got you know what I'm saying? Him, As you can time. see, I got I got 50,000-something followers on the gram. That all came because I ran into the baby at a McDonald's and just started rapping for him. Like, Man. just a regular moment. Like, I'm just rapping for a regular dude. And at the moment, everybody was saying he was the, the hottest in the game. You know what I'm saying? Every time he dropped, he going number peak. one. This man, I made that man give me my props right in and front I, of the world. And I want to talk about that, man. Yeah, that 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 right there is major. Like, yeah, for one to go viral, you know, what I'm saying we talk about, you know, you guys come up in the in the in the internet world. Yeah. So you sure. know, to go viral is a is a major accomplishment. It is. To right. a nigga coming up in the internet it is. world, it really first is. and foremost. It really okay, is. so understand that. So when a nigga can go viral, it, just on some simple shit, that's one thing. <laughs> but when you got a nigga like the baby, it. it it wasn't like you posted it on your page. Yeah. The baby posted it on his page. Like, y'all need to check this dude right out. Right. Right. See, right that's up. a whole different situation. Right. Yeah. And what blew my mind was, see, a lot of niggas, as much as they rap and they out here and as talented as you are, ain't no way in hell they would have been working at McDonald's. Yo. Ain't Yo, no way in hell they would have been working at McDonald's. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. You understand? It. But your ass <laughs> was supposed to be at McDonald's. Mm-hmm. And come on, we, we talking about the baby. This man can go get a $1,500 steak. You're right. Yeah. He pulled up to the McDonald's for some fries and a milkshake type right, shit. Put right. up for me. <laughs> so he put, put up, up for me. <laughs> exactly. That's, you know what, that's what I'm that, saying. That's, that's when bruh handed it to me like all my life. I just been like, yo, I, 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 need, I need something to give. Like I made sure I never had no plan B in life. Like I made sure that this was the only thing I could ever see myself doing. I, I even took risk where I knew it might hinder me from other things. I dropped out of school just to fuck with the music. Like right. completely, I don't uh, just like I, music. It gotta work. Like it's, you know what no, I'm saying. No, I thought, yeah. Listen, so it's like that's it. He gave that shit to me. He gave that shit to me. I begged for it. He gave it to me on time too, when I was ready. And and even more so, he gave it to me at a perfect time, like at a young age where you got to understand the game. You got to learn it early. Because if I would have got in this game three years later. Like, 24, 25, I could be getting fucked all types of crazy and not be knowing my knowledge, but he let That's me true. come in slowly but surely. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm in the game. Look at where we look at where we at. You know what I'm saying? Man, Distro deal going, going crazy. Up, boy going, all that. Boy going up. I mean, to you know, my my first, um, you know, time hearing you, uh, I, I, I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, this something like this, this, you know, and I hear, they'll tell you, I, I hear 
tons and tons of artists. Like last night at the show, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like shit, I, that, that was 30 fucking motherfuckers. That was a dope, you know what I'm saying? Dope showcase. And y'all put that mug on. That was fire. a dope showcase. It was a lot of great artists. Yeah, I'm not going to hold you. That was a y'all dope put showcase. That thing on fire. But see, I hear music so much. So, like, when it's something that's really like, ooh, ah, that shit just, it, it does yeah. something to me. And when I heard the music, I was like, damn, this was before I had even known about the whole baby situation. Yeah. Just, you know, the music, man, like, I, I I know that you take that shit serious. Like, I know yeah. you you probably go to sleep thinking about music and probably wake up thinking about yeah, music. for sure. Everybody know that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, I, I yeah. see that you have embodied that shit, and it's no different than, you know, Kobe, rest in peace, being in the gym. Be... <laughs> <laughs> Hey yo, <laughs> Kobe my favorite player. Like Kobe my favorite player. I don't play niggas know when I play 2K who I'm using. Kobe. I'm using the Lakers, like the <laughs> old Lakers, just so I could play with Kobe. R.I.P. Kobe, R.I.P. Nipsey, R.I.P. Nipsey. That's the song too. Yeah. 60 for 60 is off the messenger. You know See? what I'm saying? Real shit. See? See? And, Real and, shit. And I love that, bro. I love that you, like you said, you coming with a message. Uh, the music is diverse. So my my question when it comes to the music, like, how is the creation process? Like, are you a writer? Are you a freestyler? Is it a vibe type thing? Like, um, or so, a little so, all of? So, yeah, yeah. So I'm an artist. You know what I'm saying? So as an artist, uh, influence comes from everything. I Most of my songs that I do, it just comes from the beat speaking to me. But... If I'm listening to music and like I like certain songs, I'll try to migrate towards that genre just so I can have one of them songs under my belt. You know what I'm saying? Like Understood. right now, I'm really digging the Afrobeat shit. Mm -hmm. So I got a couple Afrobeat songs that I done made like under my belt just just because I like Afrobeat and mm -hmm. I want to hear myself on an Afrobeat and I know I'm gonna kill it. So it's like yeah. So I mean, it really just comes from however I feel, whatever I want to hear myself on. You know what I'm saying? Right. No matter what, I do the music for myself. It's my piece. I'm yeah, happy right. everybody loves it. I like but that. Regardless of I anything, like that. I do my music. For I like me. that. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, I like That's that. Real. I like that. Y'all, um, how long y'all gonna be out here? Saturday or Sunday? When Sunday? We got a Juneteenth little thing going on on Sunday too. All right. Um, sure. Because just with the Afro Beats joint, um, and I'm I'm gonna get with the team though, but they be doing this event on Sunday from like mm. twelve to five. Called um, rum rum punch brunch. I think I heard. You know about what I'm that. saying? And just what you talking about the Afro beats? Like, I know if you came to that and just seen all these people and how they move, like just the the energy in this yeah. motherfucker off that Afro beats. Mm -hmm. I know it's gonna. You might even finish a whole project straight Afro <laughs> beat. All just. Hey. I'm telling you, bro, because it, that's 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 that money maker. Yeah. You know what that, I'm saying? Uh, it's diverse, global, overseas, overseas global, money. You know what I'm saying? That global money for real. Yeah, yeah you, you see how- You can pack uh, out an arena all the way in, in Nigeria, Africa. You won't go even somewhere like Germany. Like, you pack out th Amsterdam. You pack out that type of stuff. I mean, it's we know over. what your bank account looks like. Yeah, it's over. Hey. It's over. You, you 21 good. Savage, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, M's. <laughs> <laughs> nah. And, that, and hey, that's what happens. For real. That's what happens. And, and I know that's what, you, you know, you guys are- Building yes. and working towards, Very much we you know what I'm saying. That, like and it's, it's, I, I, I don't have a single doubt in my mind, my heart, my spirit that, um, it won't happen because I, just from the content, the music, the image, the way everything is set up, the business model, we made us. Yes, we definitely made us from the ground up. No help, no handouts, no nothing. Niggas ain't want to give a shit, so we made us. Word up. Nah, nah. For Literally. Me. And in this game, you have to. Yes. If you don't make yourself, if you don't make a name for yourself, niggas going to use you up throughout this game yes. the whole way. Amen. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that because it's a, it's, a, it's a fucked up game. It really is. But when you come in on your 10 toes and some business, yes, you can find great success. Yes. Amen. Great success. And, and, and then piggyback off a little bit what he said about people using you. People will use you or try to use you, but a lot of times it be I don't even be mad at people because I used to be mad at people right. when they use you or try to do stuff. But then I had to learn, like, you know what? It's my job to stay on top of my game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, though? Yeah. Because people going to do that. I, don't, yeah. I think it's a human thing. It is. You know if what I'm you, saying? If you allow it. Like even a baby, if a, like a baby. 
a pie can be sitting on the table, got dog. That that got dog baby gonna stick his hand in that damn pie. You or know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, unless you unless you, you know what I'm saying? Like, stop. Don't yeah, do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you yeah. and, and they but and the baby will sit there and look at you. Oh yeah. To see if you're going exactly. to make them stop. Hey uh, man, that it's perfect. Perfect. That was perfect. Like, right like you, you know, you might think they don't know what they do, yeah. but they know it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, perfect. Yeah. Don't, but don't that ever, was perfect. Hey, Amen. Don't, don't ever be scared to like defend your craft. Exactly. Too. Your music is your music. Hey, Amen. That's what I want all my artists to know. Like, embrace your royalties and really learn about what you need to do to make sure that what's yours is yours. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because just because you wrote a song and dropped it, don't mean that's your song. Like. Yep. It don't mean that at all, because if I go buy the exclusive rights to that beat, now you got some bullshit. Right. You, and I'm telling you, take that shit down. Right. Cease right. and desist. Striking it. Right. Take my shit down. It. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so make sure if you really care about your work, that you do everything you need to do to make sure that your work is solidified. Like, a brand is everything. You can't play with this shit. A, right. a brand is everything. You know what I'm saying? And you are your own brand. That's right. How old are you, man? 21. Bro, bro, 21 talking that, giving y'all a socket talk. Hey, man. <laughs> you know Bug talk, real shit, bro, socket shit. You bro, know what I'm saying? 21 giving y'all that socket talk, man. And I, I respect that as a, as a young king, a young man coming up. Because like you said, bro, the business got to be straight first. Yes. And any given time that you want to step into, even if it's not music, whatever the playing field is, you always have to be business minded. Hey, Amen. You always have to be that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get you a long ways. Yes. Business is great. You know what I'm saying? Also, I, I think relationships are good, too. Oh, man. Relationships you know what I'm saying? are business. Are, once business your business ship? is in order and people respect your business they, and boy, they respect your business, that's, ship, that's when I tell you to work on your relationship. That's it. Because when a, when, when, when a motherfucker asks you how your mom's doing, you know, they care. They have a different type. Of, you got a different type of relationship yep. when, when somebody asks you, how your mom's doing? How, how your girl doing? How, how finesse doing? Like Versus like just, you got that bread. You got that bread for that feature game? <laughs> right, like, right, you know what I'm yep, saying? Or, right. or is it love? If it's love, then you know what I'm saying? That's right, what's up. Right. Like, I fuck with the love. I'm a heavy person on love. Right. Still to this day with all these followers, I'm working with underground artists. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't him, him yet. We working there. We know the potential, but right now we all in the same game together. Damn so right. I ain't, yeah, I, I got mad respect for people. I got mad love for every artist who does this shit just like we do this shit. So when we talk about the artists, you know what I'm saying? I know you're you you know you're doing your thing for Charlotte, but if you could, you know, name or mention any of the upcoming artists that you work with, uh, you know, that's popping, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, for sure. out that way, you know what I'm saying, that we need to be tapping into, you know, who would you recommend? First, I would tell you to tap into Honcho dot God. You know oh, what I'm well, you know that's already God, on okay. repeat. That's, that's, that's already first. on repeat. Second, I tell you to keep your ears out for finesse. You know what I'm saying? Finesse about to drop some music. That's the third third of We Made Us. You finesse know always in the cut. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's My dog always in the um, cut. I tell you, I've worked with an artist named Jules. You know what I'm saying? She just got signed to Quality. So shout out to Jules. Yeah, I've worked with. Um, who else I work with? Mm, I work with someone all the way out in Germany, like different language and everything. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's I worked with somebody from Detroit. See, when I blew up, I was doing features with a lot of different people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people in my city didn't bite too much. You know what I'm saying? Because they with felt the like other they were still accessible to me. But most of the, like, off the social media. They ain't had no problem with sending was, that money. Yeah, they was fucking with me. Yeah, so, they ain't had no problem. But even in the city, I got a song with my boy, um, Ant. I got a song with my boy, Ant. That shit go crazy. So I got a song with some people in the city, but I don't really be too tapped in too much in the city. But shout out to uh, the whole South Coast uh, entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Social Currency. Shout out to Lil John 4K, Hot Boy Shaq. Yeah. You know, of course, shout out to BDB and them boys. So, yeah, I mean, shout out to the North Carolinas cause, and the South Carolinas because we really grinding right now. No, nah, you know, We're trying to make a scene the thing for about the Carolinas is, though, like, I, I, I've i been sitting back and I've been watching the past four or five years. And, yeah, um, yeah it's like, it's, it's, it's something bubbling in the Carolinas. Yeah. And I'm just waiting to see when it's going to spill over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I, I see it. I You know, it's so much talent and. Like you said, from South to North Carolina, 
all them little areas from the, mm-hmm. the Columbia's and the Charleston's to, like you said, the Raleigh's and the uh, Greensboro, Greensboro's, man, and the Mounts and the Hendersons. Like it's, it's undercover talent everywhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro, and it feels good being a first generation one too. You know what I'm saying? It feels good knowing that in 10, 15 years, I'm going to be a mogul of my city because I've been here doing it. Help build I that thing. Exactly. I, I help build this music scene. I yeah. love that. Yeah, Amen. bro. That's a blessing. Show it. You part of history. Yes. Amen. Messenger has a message that needs to be heard. I can dig that. hear it either now or 100 years later in that history book. You know what I'm saying? This music is here forever. This art Man. here forever. That's and, and that's the bottom line right there. Dig forever. that. Dig when you down. make timeless music, when you make good music, um, when you making music from the spirit, mm-hmm. from your soul, from your heart, from the like you said, your <clears throat> excuse me, your experiences, your good experiences and your bad experiences, you know what I'm saying? That's what you leave, you know what I'm saying? And that's what makes the artist the artist. Mm. I got a question for y'all. What's y'all? What's y'all uh, number one hip hop album? For me. Um, my number one hip hop album is going to I'm gonna have to go with cause I'm heavy on the outcast, so I'm gonna have to go with a Clemini. Okay. With a with a with a with a with a with a real tight southern playlistic Cadillac. Like it's they like neck and neck, but I'm a <laughs> I'ma go with that, you know what I mean? I'm 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 gonna go with that first Me, choice. That um I think for me that that two part that All Eyes on Me album, mm, yes, Hardcore to the Brain, and uh, I ain't mad at you. That Double Dish, yeah, that Double Dish was a beast. You know murder. what I'm saying? Yeah. I think yeah. that I think I think that's that guy for me. <laughs> what you rocking with? I'm rocking with Illmatic. I'm rocking with Illmatic. Nah. I rock that the whole way through from start to the end and just love that shit. Salute the Nas Is that the like one when he shot the shot at Jay? That ain't the one nah, he shot? Nah, 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 okay. nah, nah, nah. Okay. This, 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 this before. Okay. Yeah, this, this, this is what made Nas who Nas is. Okay, okay. 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 Straight out okay. Of fucking dungeons of rap where fake niggas don't make it back. You hear me? <laughs> doom, doom, doom. <laughs> yeah. Boom, clap. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Nas. Real lyricist. Nah, Real but lyricist. I get it, though. I get it. And, that, and, and see, for you this again, brother, my man 21, and he said Nas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just, you know, not little baby. My favorite group, The Temptations. Yeah, like, <laughs> like you know, what I'm saying, like, you gotta, like, it's, it, it's obvious that bruh has done his homework. He understand the culture because, like, like I said, man, you asking 21 year old nigga, like you said, the baby, right? Little baby. Little, little, definitely the little uh, baby. You, you know right. what I'm saying? Which they ain't no knock to them, right? You know, right? Right? Yeah. It is. They, they, they might wrong. say Wayne, like if if they grew up in the right household, yeah, they might say Wayne, like, easy. yeah, but. Like you said, the, the come straight out the gate on some Illmatic, you know, yeah, yeah, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the originators of this music shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it go a long way. It helped build the culture. You know what I'm saying? So carry that torch, man. Continue to do your Thank thing. You. Thank you. Um, What can the people follow you? For those that haven't already followed you, yeah. what can they follow you at? Let them know where to get the music at. Check out the videos. All that good shit, man. Um, you could follow me on Instagram at the real mouth T H E R E A L M O U F. Another way you could find me is you could type in linktree.com slash the real mouth and all of my links will pop up from the videos to the Twitters to the Instagram social media, a little bio about me, everything. So I tell you that's the best way to tap in with me. Tap in with your boy, tap in with uh socket podcast, tap in with We Made Us. Shout out to the big man. Shout out to my mom for believing me. My dad for just teaching me the ways of this yes. shit. My grandfather for blessing us with the blood. Like, so yeah, we going crazy. Shout out to the family. Shout out to Atlanta. Shout out to Charlotte. Shout out to Baby for putting me in this little slight position where I got a little leverage to fuck with on this social media. Because social media is hard, but it is important. And it hey, is mandatory. Facts. So make facts. sure you get your social marketing right. Make sure that you have a plan with everything you do. Don't just be shooting for the win and hoping for shit to happen. Like, <laughs> sit down, take 30 minutes, write Facts. it down. Writing it down is half the problem and yeah. execute. You know what I'm saying? It's Psych it's out. One on one. Hey, well, I ain't got to say shit else. <laughs> Nephew done said it all. You already know how we rocking. Oh, you, where they can follow you at? Follow me, Instagram, The Real Mouth, at T H E R E A L M O U F. Let's get it. Okay, then. Hey, man, and that's Psych Talk Podcast for you. Three, two, one.
Hey. Hey, man. Hell of a show, hell of a show today. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that viewed it. You know what I'm saying? Keep running them views up. Keep subscribing to the vibe. Stay tuned in to what we got going on. Listen to us on all DSPs. You know what I'm saying? Like I said earlier, we all fully monetized now. So if you don't want to look at us on YouTube, go to Spotify, go to Apple, right. go to our heart. You know what I mean? We, we all up in there. We in the mix. You dig what I'm saying? It's like that. Shout out to my uh, affiliate sponsor today, man. Uh, 212 degree Fahrenheit talent. Uh, it's a brand new app that just dropped. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be one of the hottest apps for a and and label uh, managers across the globe. So tap in again, 212 Degree Fahrenheit Talent app. And as well, you know what I'm saying? I got to shout out Hungry Hustlers. You know what I'm saying? The whole movement with them guys, man. I appreciate when y'all brought me that sweatshirt, so I ain't forgot about that. That's all love. So big ups to them. You know what I'm saying? Nitty, go ahead and close us out, man. Hey, um, one more time, y'all. Shouts out to Got Ties. Make sure you go on my page, Street Nitty Representative, the link in the bio, or you can go to Stacks One Stop Shop um, and see what we got going on. We got the early bird tickets. We got tickets lowest thirty dollars, nineteen eighty nine Chevy Caprice, fully loaded, car worth thirty thousand dollars. No if ands or buts about it. Somebody gonna get it. They might spend thirty dollars and get that ticket. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah, and clean too. tap in worldwide box clean. Chevy raffle, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going on up, and then we're gonna thank the Creator, Heavenly Father. Once more, we thank you for. For a great show, Father God. We thank you for unity, Father God. We thank you for everyone you sent this way. And then, Father God, we ask you to bless the viewers that viewing, Father God, that somehow to be motivated, somehow to be inspired to want to be great, Father, and just keep pushing. Right now, we speak blessings over Evan Vision, Father, that you keep watching over him. And we thank you for allowing him to open his doors, Father God, so we can do what we do, Father. I speak peace and blessings over Scrub, Father God. Keep watching them, keep shielding them, guiding them, and protecting them. And then we thank you for we SA made it. Thank you, Father. We love you. We glorify you. We honor you. In the name of your son, Yahshua, I pray and say, amen, amen, amen. 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 Pray like that, man. Can't wait. Back at it next week. Let go.